For today's makeup tutorial, we are going to be creating the latte look. Now the latte look is really just using the same tones and shades on the eyes, lips, and the cheeks. So you can pick whatever tones and shades that you want, but the classic latte look is almost that 90s kind of vibe using those brown tones. But feel free to use any shades that you want as long as it remains consistent. So if you're using a peach blush, use a peach eyeshadow and a peach lipstick. So grab your makeup bag and let's get started. So I wrote so many notes for this video because um, brain fog, <laughs> but I was wondering if anybody would ever like to see the notes that I write for my tutorials, if maybe it would help people to see it in written form, let me know below. So I started with some skincare and a light layer foundation. Oh, and actually, if you wanna keep the latte look really simple, you could try using this product. It's a bronze tinted balm that works for the face, the eyes, the cheeks, the, the, just the everything. So that's just something fun to think about, but let's create more of a classic glam style. Step one is sculpting. When it comes to sculpting, I like to break the face into two parts an outer circle and an inner circle. The outer circle is where we will be sculpting and adding some depth and some shaping. Starting with the forehead, I use the arch of my brow as a guide and I sculpt from the outer edge and work this up into the hairline. So grab your favorite sculpting product. I'm gonna be using a cream product to start with and this can actually be used on the eyes, the face and the lips, so it's perfect for this. And I'm going to be applying that with a round tapered brush. So remembering to leave the area in the middle clear, I'm starting in that outer edge of the brow and working upwards towards the hairline. And as I'm moving upwards, I'm bringing this up and over my forehead. Now what I like to do is use the width of two fingers as a guide. This is how far I want to bring this away from my hairline. If you bring this down too low, it actually throws off the balance of your face. And then for anyone with a short forehead, you probably wanna skip this altogether. Now for the cheeks, if you want to follow the hollow of your cheekbone, you're actually gonna start at your ear and you're going to feel for the hollow. You should feel for the little dip that's under your cheekbone. And then again, I'm using my brow arch as a guide and following this line downwards to meet the hollow. Where these two intersect is my stopping point. This again keeps the center of my face nice and bright while adding some depth and some structure to the face. So picking up my brush and a bit of the product, I'm holding it by kicking my two fingers out. This will just make sure I have some balance control, but also prevent me from pushing too much product onto the face. This will just shear off the pressure, making sure that our application is much softer. So starting at the ear, I'm going to work into the hollow and then flick upwards as I move along the hollow. So you're doing this little feathering technique where you're going into the hollow and flicking up over the cheekbone remembering to stop at our arch point. Once we've done that, we're gonna move on to the jawline. Now for anybody with jowls or loose skin, you basically want to paint over the top of them and blend them down into the neck. For everybody else, just applying a little bit of the sculpting product across your jawline will just add a little bit more balance and definition. Now for my face shape, I like to make sure that I'm leaving a gap underneath the hollow of my cheeks, keeping this area nice and bright and clear, which will then just lift my cheekbones. I applied a touch of the product onto my chin and then just use whatever's left over in the brush around my lips to add a little bit of depth. Oh, so for the nose, I have my favorite tip my sister told me about. So you take a thin brush, you place it on the center of your nose to create a line, and then you simply brush over the top. This is a great way to create straight lines while also keeping the center of your nose bright. Now my sister has a perfect nose, so I'm not sure why she does this, but it definitely helps me. I got my dad's nose. This product can also be used on the eyes. So following the same technique, we are going to be applying this into the hollow of the eyes to add some depth. You want to lightly press the brush inwards and then just follow the natural curve and hollow of the eye. Alternatively, you can actually create the definition and the shaping of your eye by just drawing it in and then very softly blending the edges. Now the classic latte look also has a blown out lower lash line. So I'm just gonna use whatever's left over my brush and just sweep this underneath the eyes, creating that kind of a smudgy finish. 
To add more depth, I'm going to be using a powder product, which actually is called Sculpt. This is going to be used in exactly the same way. And by using two different shades of sculpting products, we're going to get a much better finish because one is a cream and one is a powder. We also get some staying power as well. So the two of these are going to work beautifully together. Once you've done that, we can then move on to part two, which is blush. I've picked two peach blushes for this look. One is a cream with a shimmer finish and one is a powder with a matte finish. Both of these products are gonna be used on the cheeks, the eyes, and the lips later. Let's start with the cheeks, and we're gonna find the blush line. I'm going for a lifted look. So I'm going to follow the hollow of my cheeks, but I'm going to push it slightly upwards, and this is going to be then placed on the cheekbone itself. Now I'm still using the technique of following my brow arch as a guide, Alternatively, you can use two finger lengths away from the nose. Either way, you're gonna keep this nice and high to lift the face. For the eyes, I'm using the same brush as before, but we're gonna be using the matte powder blush instead. Similar to the blush application, we're applying this slightly higher above the hollow, making sure we leave a little gap underneath the brows because we don't want the brows to get lost here. Now using the cream blush, I'm going to be applying this onto the lid. This is a great way to bring every element of this look together. We are also gonna be using this on the lips, but I'm gonna be doing that later on in the video. Part three, brightening. Now this isn't part of the classic latte look, it's just something that I like to do. I use a cream concealer in a lighter shade and apply it in these upward lines to create the illusion of a lifted appearance while also creating a clean, sharp finish. Now, if you want more details on how to make this work for you, definitely let me know. I don't always do this step, but it is great if you're feeling a little bit tired. So once I apply all of my lines, I then just blend it out with a damp sponge. Now, even though I don't do those steps every time, nine times out of 10, I will brighten the edge of my nose. This will melt the nose shape into the cheeks and create the illusion of a thinner nose. And then I also brighten the inner corner of my eyes while I do this. Once I blend all of that out, I then just set it in place with some setting powder. I really like the idea of the sculpting and the blush to be really soft and blended, and then use this concealer and powder to add some sharpness back in. But this is totally optional. Next, we wanna add some depth. So I'm gonna be using a cream to powder eyeshadow and a lip liner in exactly the same shade. This is staying true to the classic latte look. So I'm applying the deep brown eyeshadow to my lash line, and then I'm gonna softly smudge this out using my fingertips. This is actually one of my go-to products. I pretty much use it every day. It's so quick and easy. I, I can't recommend it enough. You gotta try it. Now to match the eyes, I'm then gonna be using a deep brown lip liner to line my lips. And I'm slightly overlining, just for fun, but you wanna focus your overlining to the center point of the lips. This is gonna create that nice pout. For lipstick, I'm taking my favorite nude lipstick. This is called Perfect Nude. And just adding a touch of the sculpting product and the cream blush to this lipstick to create the perfect shade for this look. For some extra steps, I also applied my mascara and some false lashes. I love this mascara. You know in like medieval times, they had those like spikes on ropes things? Anyway, it's got one of those on the end, so it's great for like doing the uh, lower ones. Our last part is part five and it's adding some glow. So we're gonna be using a shimmer on the cheeks and the eyes and a gloss on the lips. So following the same technique as before using the arch of my brow, I'm going to be applying this highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones above the blush, even though I did blend it in a little bit too far. Oops. I also then applied it to the inner corner of my eyes to brighten them. And then matching the shimmer on the eyes and the cheeks, I also applied a shimmering lip gloss, even though I don't suit gloss. I don't, I don't suit gloss. Gloss suits a lot of people, just not me. You'll see, it just, it just doesn't suit me, but it does complete this look. And that is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. If you learned something, then please give it a thumbs up. If there's something you need more help with, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And it's been a while since we had an emoji competition. So let's see. Lattes are hot drinks. So maybe let's see if you can share your favorite hot drinks in the comment section using emojis or, or just let me know. <laughs> let me know what it is. And I'll let you know which ones mine are too. I'm torn between two. There's two I really like. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. You're doing the best you can. And I'll see you in the next one. You know what I love about this bag is that, first of all, like, look at it. It's like the size of my face, but it's also small, if that makes sense. It's basically got this, like, oh, what do you call this? 
it's like an old school grandma purse you know that has this like extra bit inside it that creates more structure it's like scaffolding there's scaffolding inside it and so when you open it it stays open look it doesn't slowly start closing you know you have a, a regular pencil case it'll slowly start closing this stays open and it almost becomes a square it's huge also tiny <laughs> i love it